In this video, we will cover a range of tips you can use to get the most out of Google Analytics. I'll also share extra resources you can use to learn even more about using and customizing your reports. This is the sixth lesson in my Google Analytics training series. And if you're new to this series, please take a moment to watch the other lessons. You can find links to all of the lessons in the description below this video. Let's begin with extra tips for using Google Analytics. My first tip is to ensure all of your marketing is tracked correctly into Google Analytics. This is an important step for inbound traffic that isn't coming from Google Ads. Let's take a look. We're looking at Google's Campaign URL Builder. You can use this tool to create tagged links for your inbound marketing campaigns. I've included a link to this tool in the description below. And I want to mention you can use this tool without logging into your account. OK, to start we need to enter the landing page we want to send people to on our website. Next is Campaign ID which lets you provide your own identifier for your campaign. It is optional, but if you want to import advertising cost data into Google Analytics, then you will need to define this for your campaign tagged URLs. We can then enter the campaign source. You should name the source based on where the message will be seen. Next, we need to enter the campaign medium. This should be named based on how the message will be communicated. Then there is campaign name, which is optional, but I generally recommend naming your campaign so you can see this in your reports. The campaign name lets you define the overarching initiative. There are also two additional campaign tags we can define. These are campaign term and campaign content. Campaign term is designed for tracking third-party paid search campaigns. For example, if you're running search ads on Bing, you can use this to report on the keywords that are sending traffic to your website. And campaign content lets you report on different ads or calls to action you're using in your campaigns. Whatever we define for these tags, will be reported into Google Analytics when someone clicks through to our website. Ideally, we want to apply campaign tags to all of the inbound links sending traffic to our website. The more inbound links we tag, the easier it is to see how our campaigns are performing. In my example, we can see I'm going to be tracking an ad on LinkedIn that sends people to my website. I've entered linkedin.com as the source and paid as the medium. Below the campaign tags we've entered, we can see a long URL that includes the landing page we defined at the start along with the campaign tags. We then copy and paste this URL. For our example, this would be the URL we use in our ad on LinkedIn. When people click on the link in the ad, they're directed to our landing page and Google Analytics will report on the values for source, medium and campaign. My second tip is to import key events from Google Analytics into your linked Google Ads account. This lets you view conversion data in Google Ads from your key events. Let's head to Google Analytics to look at how we do this. Before you can complete the steps we're about to cover, you will need to ensure Google Ads is linked to Google Analytics. If you missed the tutorial where we covered these steps, you can find a link to watch it in the description below this video. The other thing you will need to check is that the key event you want to use to track conversions has been configured in Google Analytics. Since I've completed both of these steps, let's navigate to Advertising and select Conversion Management under Tools. You will see any existing conversions that have been imported from Google Analytics to your linked Google Ads account listed here. And to create a new conversion in your linked Google Ads account, let's click Create Conversion Action. First, we need to select the Google Ads account where we want to use the conversion. Since I only have one Google Ads account linked, we can see this is pre-selected. 
If you have multiple Google Ads accounts linked to Google Analytics, then take a moment to ensure you have the correct one selected. Then we click Next on the top right corner. At the top we can see a list of all the key events that have been configured in our Google Analytics property. Below this we can see a list of other events that have been recently collected. And on the top right corner there's the Create Event button, which lets you configure new events based on existing events. This lets you create events exactly like we covered in the fifth lesson in this series. So if you want to create a new conversion event, I recommend watching that video. There's a link in the description. Ok, since I want to import one of the key events as a conversion into my linked Google Ads account, I'm going to select the key event. Let's enable the Generate Lead event. Now we need to select a conversion category. This is used to classify conversions in the linked Google Ads account. For my conversion I'm going to select Submit Lead Form. Now let's click Next on the top right corner. And now let's click Save. We've now imported the conversion from Google Analytics into our linked Google Ads account. I do need to highlight one thing and that is the conversion has been imported as a secondary conversion action. This means that the conversion can be used for reporting but it won't be used for automatic optimization in Google Ads. So if you want to use the conversion as a primary conversion action and for optimization, you will need to switch this to a primary action directly inside the Google Ads account. Moving forward, we'll begin to see conversions based on key events reported directly inside our Google Ads account. You will need to wait until someone clicks through from one of your ads and converts before you see it reported in Google Ads. My next tip is to use my free Google Analytics checklist to ensure you have everything configured correctly for your property. You can use the checklist if you're setting up Google Analytics for the first time or you want to check the setup in your existing property. Let's take a look. Here we can see my Google Analytics checklist and it includes a range of things to check for your property. It includes things we've covered in this tutorial series and more. If you're getting started you can review the points under Planning. You will find additional points to review under Implementation, Setup and Configuration, Technical Setup, Campaign Tracking, E-Commerce and more. I've included a link to download my checklist in the description below this video. And it's a good idea to review the checklist every 6 to 12 months to ensure everything continues to be set up correctly in your Google Analytics property. Ok, now that we've covered my top tips, I want to share extra resources you can use to continue learning even more about Google Analytics. First up is the Google Analytics Help Center. The Help Center has articles covering how to get started, through to steps for configuring advanced features and customizing reports. It also includes Google Analytics announcements that let you view the most recent updates the Google Analytics team have made to the product. In the Help Center you can also select the Community tab. This is a great place to ask questions about Google Analytics and search through all of the other questions people have asked. Apart from Google's resources, I also recommend watching my Google Tag Manager tutorial series where I cover the steps to implement Google Analytics and other tags. There's a whole series of lessons that will take you from the basics of Google Tag Manager through to more advanced ways you can manage your implementation. I also recommend checking out the learning resources I've put together. They include articles, PDF guides and more videos. I've included links to my resources in the description below this video. And when you're ready to learn even more about Google Analytics, check out my course. My Google Analytics course will take your skills and knowledge to the next level. My course includes lessons, walkthroughs, quizzes and practical exercises.
you will learn best practice techniques for setting up, customizing, and using Google Analytics. So please take a moment to check it out. Now that you're up and running with Google Analytics, I recommend reviewing your implementation every 6 to 12 months. You might find opportunities to adjust the data you're collecting, tweak your reports, or enable new features. Don't forget you can find a link to join my full Google Analytics course in the description below this video. And I've also included links to more resources you can use too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.